My name is Apostolos Paraskevas and I would like to demonstrate to you the right way to use your right hand when you play the classical guitar. I would like to point out this is the only way also to recover from focal dystonia. Focal dystonia is not a neurological disorder. Also, it's not a psychological condition. Focal dystonia is an unconscious behavioral error and in order to restore you need to retrain the way you play the instrument. You need to retrain your brain and in order to do this you need to send the right messages to the brain from the hand. I would like to demonstrate techniques of using your right hand in order to do so. Thumb works directly from this joint here, the upper knuckle, in this way. And lots of guitarists do play like this. Many, many guitarists also using the circle motion, which is this one. The third way is when you use the upper joint like this. The index finger always works from the upper knuckle like this. And the middle finger, the same thing, but the secret with the middle finger is that the rest of the fingers follow. Essentially, I want you to focus that when you are working with the right hand, you always think that you have three fingers. The thumb, the index, and the middle finger. And the middle finger will work always as a group with the rest of the fingers. I will give you an example. Now let's talk about the index finger. The index finger works in this specific way. Always starts from the string. We never raise the finger to attack the string. And of course that uh, is the same for all the instrument. So the note starts directly from the string. We have to be sure that the index has enough room and the thumb the same way. So that means these two fingers, they cannot interfere. But when you work with the index and the thumb at the same time, you have to create this kind of global position. The thumb is going to be on top of the index, this way. So the thumb will work like this and the index like this. And 
the middle finger brings along the rest of the two fingers the ring finger and the pinky finger like this essentially when you operate with the middle finger you're thinking that you have only one motion you are moving the fingers all together and again from the knuckle so if i want to do this i would bring all the fingers together fingers are independent and when I say independent I mean the index finger will move independently in accordance with the rest of the fingers so when you move the index finger like this be sure the rest of the fingers are stationary the same with the M finger when you move the M finger you are sure that the index finger is stationary by doing this the hand is getting in balance and this is the only way to recover from any disorder including focal dystonia I'm going to play specific patterns of the right hand with open strings.
if you need uh, more detailed information about uh, recovering from uh, focal dystonia, please uh, consult my article, um, A Classical Guitarist Story of Recovery from Focal Dystonia. Yeah, it's um, an article that was published uh, at the uh, Classical Guitar Magazine in London, and now it's available uh, on, on Amazon. Um, uh, essentially, is um, my story, what I did to recover from the condition. Thank you.